okay. we, we believe that Jesus is the divine son of God, right? Uh -huh. Obviously, Islam is like, absolutely not. He's not the son of God. He's just a man. He's just a prophet. He's uh -huh. merely a prophet. So uh -huh. just that's just one example of us. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm. That's what I mean by different interpretations. No, that's like, not an interpretation. No, it's not interpretation. It's, or conclusions, if you want to say, use that word. Yes, yeah, yeah. so uh, it's like, if, if we're saying Jesus is the son of God, he said he's the son of God, um, you know, is, in Islam it teaches, no, he's not the son of God. Allah rejects that. Jesus denies it. So we are, we're talking two completely different things here. You're, okay. we're, we have two different truth claims. You, you claim Jesus, it's true that he's not the son of God. We claim it's true that he is. We were, you said there's two differences. Would you consider the God of the Torah being the same God? As Absolutely that? not, in no way, shape, or form, because here's another thing. Because the God of Islam says he's not a father in any sense, any way, shape, or form. But the God of the Torah... It, do, it does, though, um, um, in a particular sense. I mean, it doesn't use the word father, but the fa word father has a sense. As no, a, we don't it, use it for, for, for um, um, like, some reasons. It, you, but, you, uh, you believe, it, you, believe it, meaning. you believe you can use it in a, in some type of figurative or metaphorical sense, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so that, that absolutely goes against Islam in all ways. Chapter 19, verse 93 of the Quran. Chapter 19, verse 93 of the Quran, Allah says, There is none in the heavens or the earth that can come to the most beneficent except as a slave. So you can't even come to Allah no, no, no. figuratively but as a son. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant by father. Um, no, I, he, I, he cancels out any type of sense. I don't think so. Maybe I can uh, elaborate on one sense. Right. That, yeah, Wait, that so let's, so let's break this down. If he says that there's no one, no one can come to Allah except mm -hmm. as a slave. Yes. Then can you come to Allah as a son in a metaphorical sense when he just said you can only come to him as a slave? That's not what I'm talking about. Um, um, like when you when you hear me say father, you directly link it to son. That's not what I meant by that. Well, that's what a father has sons. Yeah. So you're not a father unless you. Yeah, have a yeah, yeah, but it's like um, the the interpretation I was getting to yeah. uh, by using the word father I was in a more philosophic philosophical. Right. Word. That's what that's what I'm saying. Allah rejects any sense that you can see him as a father. Because if he's a father in a philosophical sense, yeah, in a figurative I, sense, I agree. Then you're a son. That, 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 that I, I agree in the sense that we don't use that word. Yes. No, no, no. But, you, uh, so, uh, no, because you're you're not understanding me. Mm -hmm. You think that the term father, even though you don't use it as a Muslim, you believe that it can still work for Allah in some sense, right? Yes. Okay, that's what we're addressing. You believe that it can work for Allah. In some sense, even though you don't use it as Muslims, it doesn't go against Islam to call Allah father or see him as a father in some metaphorical, philosophical sense. Yes, That's what you're saying. Yes. And so what I'm saying is that the Quran emphatically rejects that in any sense, whether it's metaphorically philosophical, whether it's literal, whether it's figurative, whether it's spiritual, he the rejects it me. all. I think perhaps if you let me elaborate on the specific sense. Okay. I'm going to help him with one verse. Okay. Chapter 5, verse 18 of the Quran. So you understand what he's saying? I understand what you mean. Uh, okay, I understand, really. Understand why he's saying Allah won't accept the, him being your father spiritually, not physically. Because in chapter 5, sorry, in chapter 5, verse 18, chapter 5, verse 18, the Jews and the Christians were saying to Muhammad, it's in Surah al Maida. We are the children of Allah, his beloved. They meant he's our spiritual father. And the Quran says, no, you're not. He's not your spiritual father. You're just mortals he created. This is why he punishes you for your sin. So what he's trying to tell you is, Allah doesn't want you to use that name at all. And he doesn't want you to call yourself his son in any sense. He just wants you as a slave. But in the God of the Bible, he says, no, I'm your father. You're my children. So how can they be the yeah. same God? That's what he's asking. I understand. I understand. And um, that's why I meant um, when I use the word father, please don't link it directly to the to children and son. That's not exactly what I mean by that. Um, like you can't the, use it though, friend. You can't even call him. If you can let me elaborate. I, I can explain. Okay, go ahead. 
<laughs> so, um, for example, in the Quran, I think Surat Ikhlas is more or less the definition of what you consider to be God, right? Uh, meaning um, um, there is only one, uh, no one like him has not begotten um, and was not. He wasn't begotten, nor is he Lam yalad wa lam yulad. Lam yalad wa lam yulad. Exactly. Now, if you take this, um, so in, in theory, um, in, in theory, if you, um, if you're the God you're talking about has these attributes, then we are more or less talking about the same God. Well, thank you, because Isaiah you know 9 I mean? 6, now I'm gonna, what you said, stay with it. Isaiah 9 6, a prophet, wrote 700 years before Jesus was born, says that the true God does. Yelid. Here it is. Isaiah 9 6. He's going to show it to you. So you just admit it's not the same God. Here. For to us a child is born. You know what the Hebrew is? Yelid Yulad. Yelid Yulad. Because Hebrew and Arabic are sister languages. But notice who this Yelid that was begotten is. Listen. For to us a child is born. Yelid Yulad. To us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Allah Al Jabbar. The child born is Allah Al Jabbar. And this is Isaiah, a prophet who wrote 700 years before Christ. So Isaiah says, His God does yell it and you let, but you just admit that's a characteristic that proves that your God cannot be His God. And He came before Muhammad. He got it. You get the point? I get the point here. Let me give you another verse. Psalm 2 7. Yep. Here's what God says. The God, this is Old Testament before Jesus, okay? Psalm 2 7. Watch. Here. Dawood. This is Dawood. I will tell the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, Bani. Today I've begotten you. Yelitika. I have begotten you. You just admit if God has his characteristic, then he's not your God. The Old Testament says he has that characteristic. New Testament says it. So Allah of the Quran is not the God of David or the God revealed in Jesus. Game over, brother. <laughs> okay. Um, let me ask this question then. Let me know um, what that one is because you know, we can. he can come back. But go ahead. Ask one more question. Uh, uh, okay. That will be my last question. And, but, and thank you for the time. I, I yes. didn't mean to take that much time. Um, we, we, we like people like we we like people like you, Ahmed. Yeah, I wish we could just spend know. the entire night with you, but there's others. But go ahead, ask one more. Um. So, is your God the same God as Abraham? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, the Jews as well, and the Muslim as well. So, not not the Muslims. No, no. no. Well, yeah, let me Muslim explain well. a little better. The Jews think. When I say the Jews, I'm talking about the rabbis. Not all Jews. We got to be careful. There's Jews who don't believe in God. And there are Jews who believe in Jesus. There are Jews who follow Jesus to this day. The rabbinic Jews, Orthodox Jews, think they're worshiping the God of the Old Testament. Jesus said to those Jews, you don't know that God. Because if you knew that God, you'd believe in me. Yeah. So as a Christian, when I look to the Orthodox Jews, I see their interpretation. They've added to the Old Testament. So they don't have the God of the Old Testament. They made up a God, and they think that God is the God of the Old Testament. I didn't follow that completely, please. Explain okay. According to Jesus, I'll show you. Open up John 8, and you're going to read 54 to 55. Watch here. Watch here. I'm going to show you what the Bible tells us. The rabbinic Jews, the Jews who reject Jesus, they don't have the real God. And who's saying it? Look. Jesus is talking to the Jews of his day, Jews who rejected him and hated him. Look what he says. John 8, 54, 55. Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he's your God. But you have not known him. You don't know God. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and I keep his word. So according to Jesus, hmm. there are Jews who think they have the God of the Old Testament. 
But they don't because they made a God, fashioned a God that is different from the God of the Old Testament, even though they think it's a God of the Old Testament. Just like the Muslims have a God, Allah, whom they think is the God of Abraham, but he's not. So as a that's Christian... What the, that's what the Muslims say about the Christian as well. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> but we came before you, and Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament. And the I mean, the Jews can say the same as you. The, the, no, the, you didn't hear me. As well. No, no, you didn't hear me. Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament. You guys don't believe that. You say the Old Testament's changed because it doesn't agree with you. We don't say that. We say, no, Old Testament's not changed. Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament, and we agree with the Old Testament. Can you say I agree with the Old Testament? Me? Yeah. I mean, I agree with the Quran, so... Um... But I read the New Testament, but I still accept the Old Testament because they agree. Can you accept the Old Testament and say, yes, I accept the Old Testament as it is? It hasn't been changed? Um... I'll probably find some things I don't accept, yes. No, you can't. You see, So you see the difference? I, as a Christian, can say, I believe the Old Testament. It's not been changed. That's why I defend it. And the New Testament, because I see New Testament, Old Testament, agree. You, if you accept the Quran, you have to say the Bible's corrupt. So no, it's not the same. You come after Jesus, and you contradict Jesus. And yet Jesus fulfills the Old Testament. And the Jews reject Jesus, which is why they change the meaning of the Old Testament. Not the Old Testament. They change the meaning. I understand. Um, I really enjoyed the discussion. I may have, I mean, come back. I'd be glad to follow it up, but I don't want to take much more of your time. Yeah, come back. And maybe if there's more time, we'll bring you up because we have some. But come back during the week when he's live or me. Come back. We want to hear from you.